Good day. So it's been a while since I last uploaded my video, I think about three weeks, but today um, I'm going to teach you how to create an Instagram puzzle feed or Instagram puzzle. And this is going to be the easiest tutorial that you're going to find on YouTube. And yeah, so um, we're now on Instagram and this is the Instagram posts or feed of Design by Nina S. So if you can see her feed, um, it looks like a puzzle, right? So there are different pictures here, but it creates a puzzle. So this is what we're going to do today. So how can you, how can you create this? First of all, the ver it's very important that the size is correct so that when you upload the picture or the puzzle, it won't be pixelated, okay? So it won't be blurred. Um, so each square of these puzzles are sized 1080, so 1080. So this, 1080, so that's the size, right? 1080. So what we're going to do now is we are going to identify the size. So there are automatically, in uh, on Instagram, there are three puzzle or three squares on each um, row. So this is one, two, three. So it's going to be 1080, times three equals, that's going to be the width. So go to Canva, canva.com, and then click on create a design here on the upper right, and then click on custom size. And we're going to put 3240 on the width. Sorry, 3240. Okay, and then for the height, depends upon how many how many squares you're going to make. So, if, for example, um, we're going to be creating, so this is 3, 6, 9. Let's say we're going to create 12, right? So, 12 squares is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's going to be 4 rows. So, 4 rows. So, it's going to be 1080 times how many rows will be four. So that's going to be equals four, three, 20. So four, three, 20 is going to be the height. Four, three, 20. So again, three, three, two, 40 is the width, which is horizontal. And then a four, three, 20 is the height, which is the vertical. So let's now create a new design. Okay. So, once you click that, of course, automatically um, Canva will personalize the size that we need. So this is it. This is the size that we, ch we uh, chose. We chose or we created. And while we're waiting for that to load, okay, let's close that. If you're not too, uh, if you're not very confident with, you know, with your designs, um, like me as well, um, you can easily just click here, um, here on the search box, and type abstract. Okay, now you'll uh, see uh, different templates. And you can choose a background. Okay, let me scroll down a bit so I can choose. I like this one. Uh, maybe let's find another one. But if you're confident, of course, you can just click on elements and you can just choose designs or or um create designs right here as your background but for me um since i'm going to teach you like the easiest way on how to create a canva um instagram puzzle feed i will choose this one okay so let's just click there mm, not that one let me choose another one, sorry. Of course, I would like this design to stand out. So, okay, I think this one is pretty. So let's just click that. And there, so we have a design. And let's just click here. 
zoom it to maybe 25 percent okay 25 percent and then let's move this okay so from there i think it's a little big so let's just go back to 10 percent so that is the design and then we can just change the colors that we want of course you can have um, we can choose a color palette um, we can go to colorhunt.co let's go to that site colorhunt.co sorry yeah there so colorhunt.co so you can choose a palette um but for me i would like to just kind of stick to this color and maybe change it a little bit. There. Maybe make this brown. Um, okay. Or this a little lighter. Okay, I think that's good. And then um as a guide since we're going to be creating squares we have to make sure that the elements are you know are aligned so let's go to greed um greed what yeah let's just create a uh, search grids and then graphics Okay, again, let's search grids and then graphics. And then let's create this one, the thin one. And then we're going to, let's make this maybe, we can change the color to a, a color that is visible so that we can see what, So that we can see the line. So now we're going to expand this. Okay, so this will be our our guide. Okay, so make it look like this. So this is the size that we chose, right? Three, three squares here and then four squares vertically. Now we can insert our graphics. Um, for example, we would like to put pictures, um, frames, frames, and then I'll choose the one with the design. Um, wait, here, okay, I like this design, and I'll make it smaller. Okay, I'll put it here. And then I'll just duplicate it. So I can also put it on the other squares. Oops, okay, there. So I'll put it here and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll duplicate it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here, I'll put it here. And then this one here. And then this one here. this here and the last one is going to be here so the grid is just our guide and there you go so we now have the frames and for the other squares you can just um if you want to put pictures on all of them that's fine um but for me i would like uh, the other squares to be just like for the codes. Um, so now we can remove this. Okay. Now we deleted the grid that served as our um, 
guide. Now let's try to put photos on this on this frame. So for example, I'm um I'm looking for models. Model. Let's say this is for a feminine brand. And make sure that the pictures that we we put here are also um, aligning with the color palette. So for example, this one should at least be a green or orange. Um, green or, this, I think this, but it's, it looks like red, so no. Okay, here, orange. So I'll put this picture here. And then the other one here. And then here it has an orange. And of course, you can just upload your own pics if you have. This one, too. So you can do this on your feed or on your client's feed. If you have, if you're a social media manager or marketer, you can use this, of course. And if you have a beautiful feed, of course, you can attract more clients, right? So here, she's wearing orange, which is aligning with our color palette there okay so now and of course don't forget you can also um this one is for the transparency tool so you can lighten it or darken i think it's really like that okay and for this other parts here you can of course you can maximize it can zoom it so you can it's e it will be easier for you to um, put other designs and if you can see we already zoomed it 50% even let's try 100 200% and you'll see it's the picture is not pixelated it's still HD so that's why the size is very important so let's go back okay so now we can um download this so ig theme or oh, puzzle download just keep it png and then just download it now that we downloaded it we can go to Google and let's search for, uh, sorry, save it and then let's Google search for Instagram grid cutter there. Instagram grid cutter. Because there are online tools, which is very easy to use. Oops, go back. Instagram grid cutter. Sorry about that. And I think I used this one, um, post uh, postcron.com. So let's click that. Postcron.com. Okay. And then we can upload the image. Click on Upload Image. And we're going to upload. Let's try to drag. Oh, 
okay it's taking some time but probably it's just my laptop so i hope it was uploaded but if not okay there you go so now we're able to upload the picture and here on the right uh sorry left side we are going to select how many columns and how many rows okay and then we are going to map Okay, there, and now we can, um, okay, we already map it. Now we can split the image. Let's click on split the image, and it will be saved to your PC or laptop. And then download image. Okay. So, of course, it will be um, a zip or a folder because there are multiple images. And uh, one sec. It's just, okay, there you go. So, it's already downloaded to our laptop. And you will see there are numbers. So the number one, the number one picture, of course, that's the first one that you will need to upload and then the second, the third, and so on and so forth. And then for the other pictures here that are blank, um, you can easily just, uh, you can just edit it again on Canva or you can just edit the whole picture in Canva before you download it so that you won't have to do it later. Um, so yeah, that's it. And you will be able let, let us try to maybe upload it okay let's try to upload it here um, uh what what am i going to do actually it's just this it's gonna be the same hold on let's start a blank page that's what i not duplicate, sorry. A blank page. Okay, now we have a blank page. Where is it now? There. Is it the blank page? Okay, and then... Okay, this is the blank page. Let's put it on 10%. This is the blank page. Let's put elements, uh, the square frame, just so we can see how it looks like. The square, the square frame. Not that one. Okay, there. What's the size of that? We need three of that. One, two, three again.
And then the last one will be down here. Oops. Okay, so let's say this is Instagram and I will upload the pictures. Let us select all of the pictures that we cut. Okay, here, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then open. So this is the number one picture that we have to put for, oh, sorry. Not that one. Why are you always showing up? Okay, there. Oh, actually, you can see how it looks like here, right? But let me put it there. One, two, Read picture four. And then this, so if you can see, um, it looks really neat. So it's very important. Um, I mean, the color palette is very important. So make sure that it always lines with the other, um, with the rest of the colors when you're uploading your pictures and as well as the fonts. Okay, and then we have three more to go. told you it's, this is very easy it won't consume too much of your time then you trying to think of what design to to create so there um that's our finished product so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please subscribe and check out other videos on my channel thank you